2024 Dragon Ball Legends will be absolutely insane. And I want to start this video off by asking you guys to post down below what you want to see and what are you predicting will release in Dragon Ball Legends for the year 2024. So for today's video, we're going to talk all about, well, my own answers to some of those questions. I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to like all for today's video for the brand new year. By the way, happy new year. It's going to be 1,000. Also, click that share button as well. Share the video with your friends if they're interested in Dragon Ball Legends. And let's hop right in. So, Shout out to BLZ for the art. I'm pretty sure that this is his art. I had Hydros make the thumb, and he kind of just threw them on there, so I don't really know. But I'm pretty sure it's BLZ's art, and uh, he does amazing art, so follow him on Twitter. So, Legends has so, 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 so many characters from all different parts of Dragon Ball, all over the Dragon Ball universe, different time periods, everything. But there's still a lot of stuff that we don't have. And frankly put, to be completely honest with you, there's stuff that we do have that's just really old really bad that they can totally remake and redo i mean there are characters that have been in the game for five and a half years at this point even if they like for example instant transmission goku for example has not received a zenkai haven't hasn't received any buff they haven't touched this character but i think that with the technology and ability that they have today they could totally remake this guy and he could look so much better animation wise and all that stuff so we're at a weird point where there's so much old stuff in the game that like they can totally redo a bunch of old stuff like character wise right uh so that being said this guy is going to be on my list but much later the very first thing i want to start off with i did a video recently and i said hey maybe gt should get the universe survival saga treatment if you didn't see it i'll leave it down below in the description it'll also be clickable in the final 20 seconds of the video uh that you're watching currently it'll be clickable on the screen as an end screen but I said GT should get that treatment like Universe Survival where they get something from January all the way through the end of the year. Universe Survival got something every couple of months, all year long this year, or 2023. And, you know, they got super buffed. GT deserves that. So when you look at GT, actually, I want to pull up the GT grouping. GT is a really weird group because the thing I just said where, like, there's old stuff they can redo the applies to that, yeah. They've also done almost all of the the heavy hitter big stuff, like at least once, right? We have a couple Omegas. We have Super Saiyan 4, Goku and Vegeta. Gogeta as well, by the way, only one Vegeta. <laughs> one Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Like, there's room for improvement. We got Super 17s. We got the Dragon Fist Goku counterpart. Like, we... They've done most of the heavy hitter stuff. There's still some heavy hitter, like, popular stuff that they haven't done. Like, full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku is here, but, like, screw this guy. I want a better one. Um, <laughs> you know, I want to see more. I want to see him, like, getting the, the power up. Like, isn't that where... Is it? Am I thinking of him or am I thinking of the Spirit Bomb Goku? Maybe it's both of them where they power him up by giving him the energy and the power. In fact, I got to go back and rewatch GT. But anyway, <clears throat> like, there's so much more they can do. I also like super baby like this is our only super baby too i think in the game so like what's up with that right yeah uh, well uh, only sparking one so yeah let's start off with black star saga i mean this is just pitiful this is i think our initial fourier foray into uh, gt for the game all the way back with launch and pan a couple of pan variants stuff like that i mean they could very clearly they don't even have a sparking trunks here they could obviously make a new pan because that pan has been in the game literally since the game came out um there are also other variations of rildo there's his sigma force some of that stuff some of the stuff i will mention for gt is not going to be the most type stuff admittedly right um i don't know if goku goes beyond super saiyan one in this arc but if he does then there you go um also obviously you can do a transforming goku you can also do transforming trunks because he also goes super saiyan he just doesn't is there even a gt trunk super saiyan in the entire game i don't believe there is i i don't think there is so anyway there's a lot of room for improvement with that saga slash arc. Like I said, Rildo and his crew. Also, there's a few forms of Rildo. We don't have the big, like, silver Rildo, so there's that. Also, just the standard base Rildo, I don't think we have. We just only have the hyper meta one. So, anyway, moving on. Again, like I said, results will vary in terms of how hyped that is. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I think this one is a, a no-brainer. I think this is the most obvious inclusion that's going to happen this year at some point. Whether it's for Anniversary or Legends Festival again, which is a year away, by the way. He'll happen, I think, this year for sure at some point with the second version of him. Also, uh, what's up with Gogeta? It just in general, like, he's the only version that only has one aside from the base one, which doesn't have a sparking technically. 
But all the other versions have multiple iterations. So again, I do think that he will get another release this year, whether it's an Ultra, another LF. I couldn't tell you, probably Ultra, but couldn't tell you. Um, speaking of him and this saga, I mean, what's up with Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta? The only Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta in the entire game still. And this guy came out for January or December 2019, I believe. So <laughs> this dude is, uh, well, quite old. So, oh, well. I guess I can't say the only, but the only stand alone, right? Because there's a tag, but that doesn't count, right? That doesn't count. So anyway, yeah, there's that. Obviously, we got an Ultra Omega, but whatever. We need another Omega Shenron. There's also Shadow Dragons that are just flat out not here. The other Shadow Dragons that we have are kind of old. They could use Zenkai's or just flat out remakes. I've actually low key been hoping for a Sin Shenron Zenkai that could be like solid, because Sin has a really solid baseline with the endurance and stuff. So. You know, maybe he gets that at some point, but nonetheless, they could do us transforming Sin Omega. There's so there's so much stuff that they could do, and I promise the whole video won't be GT, by the way. But I wanted to start here. Super 17. Look at this. Look at this garbage. For one, we could get an LF Super 17. <laughs> For one, we could also get Android 18, who you know plays a big part in this part of the story, right? Or a relatively big part in this part of the story. In fact, she's there for the final battle. So there's that. We could also get you know a real. Goku, so there's that too. Like, there's just, there's so much. There's so, so much that they could do with this story. In fact, I even pulled up a clip uh, to show you just a little bit. I'm not going to let it play the audio because copyright, but like, we could have another fancy 17. Goku with the help from 18. It could be like an 18 assist, maybe. Uh, we, I don't know if an insist are like permanently done or what. I don't know if it'd be a tag. It could be a tag, right? You got the Goku with the power up into the dragon fist over here. Look at that. Look at that. 18. Right there, uh-huh. Goku flying up. This is the same Goku we already have, where he flies up and does the uh, Dragon Fist right there, the Super Dragon Fist. And then he follows it with a Kamehameha right there afterwards. I'm not sure that ours does the Kamehameha after. I feel like that animation's in the game, though. It, does he do the Kamehameha after the Dragon Fist? I feel like I've seen him do that, but it's been so long since I've used this Goku. Uh, maybe he does, but even if he does, I don't care. I want a new one. Super Baby Saga. I mean, this is like I kind of talked about a moment ago. Very disappointing. Absolutely disappointing. Also, you know, another thing that really pops out to me when I look at this is that there's nothing baby possessed in here. There's so much potential for like baby possessed characters. They don't even have to be like, they could at least be EXs, right? Like, but the baby possessed, like Gohan, Goten, like these characters aren't even here. Speaking of Goten, there's not even a GT Goten here. Like, I rest my case. Like, <laughs> so we're gonna do that. We're gonna just kind of move on from GT here, but the, that's like the last thing I'll kind of say. But there is so much more potential here. Like we could get so much more stuff. We could get a newer Oob. We could get a LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku here or, or revive Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Maybe the revive would be the one that uh you know does full power or something like that also i didn't mention it but universal spirit bomb goku i kind of alluded to that earlier uh he's not a part of this saga though but that's omegas but either way you get the point so anyway anyway let's hop into the crux of the video outside of the gt stuff because i do think G the, the real reason why i started with gt for like five minutes is i think gt is going to get actually that was longer than five minutes i'm sorry is that i think gt is going to get that treatment this year but because but, like when you look at gt like on the surface it's like uh, well, I don't have it up. It's like, uh, they've done all this stuff, right? But no, they kind of haven't. Also, so much of the stuff is so old that they can redo it. And I mean, look at this. This is just disappointing. This is so disappointing to look at. I will never stop trumpeting this drum until it actually happens. But this is so disappointing, man. This is, I got to say it like five more times. So disappointing, bro. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because of the anime's adaptation of this. Maybe they were told to steer clear of producing content from this part of the story or what. I don't really know in particular why. I'm sure there's some reason why they don't touch this story. But all the sparkings here are from like the one year range. Seriously. Except for the free Goku in the left. He doesn't count though. But all these characters pretty much, including the EXs I believe as well. I know Whis was a one year anniversary character, but I'm not sure about the Beerus. All these characters are like one at, at most they're no older than than from you know year two legends at the latest but beerus was the first legends limited and he came out with that goku and i don't know when that vegeta came out but i'm pretty sure he was pre-year one because he had a pack in the shop that they no longer do they used to offer packs i think he might have been the last one where you could guarantee yourself a copy they would give you like some shards for the character i think it was enough to unlock the character but it was like 20 bucks with some chrono crystals they don't do that anymore obviously and i think he was the last one these characters are so old i don't know what's up with this like i said but please drop some heat from Battle of God. This is so underrepresented. It's so crazy to me. 
like there's so much potential here we have this like janky fake ass oh, excuse me sorry <laughs> fake rage vegeta like this is so disappointing like this this could be its own thing like this could easily be its own lf that people would pull for right by the way speaking of vegeta somehow some way vegeta didn't get a single sparking character release this year like solo character he only got like tag releases and i think free to play releases but like dude what's up this could totally be its own thing leave a like if you agree and not only that speaking of like super saiyan non super saiyan god right by the way i'm gonna talk about like some game original stuff uh then i'm gonna leave this open because this could be kind of fun but super saiyan god goku like not only him what's up with the with the, the super saiyan god goku you know what they could do they could do the thing dokkan does where he de-transforms you know how he's super saiyan god on dokkan and then he transforms but he actually just goes to super saiyan because of the whole like way that that movie kind of played out they should freaking do that here i'd be perfectly fine with that and they can reenact all that oh you wanted to destroy my world like, oh, they could just do all that there's so much now by the way by the way by the way the characters in the in the game are completely from the anime I don't remember if that scene was in the anime, the Destroy My World stuff. So they may, they may have to produce movie versions. There is not a movie Super Saiyan God Goku. There is not a movie Beerus. Uh, well, I don't think there's any of those in the game, period. But they're not from the Battle of Gods. The Battle of Gods and Resurrection F stories have been done completely from the anime. They are anime characters. They are not movie characters. That matters because, like I said, there are obviously differences. And so this is why I said I don't know if that's why they've been weird with these stories. Because I'm not going to bring up Resurrection F, but I think they deserve some stuff, too. But, you know, I, I don't know if that's, if, if that's why they've been weird with these characters or not. Just because of the, the way that they were portrayed and then kind of got redone. I don't really know. But I don't care. I want them to redo it and I want them to do it fast. So next up is Shallot. And this is where things are kind of fun. Things are kind of fun here. Game originals. So Shallot's crew of Mary Berry, <laughs> very Mary, I guess I'll say, Dragon Ball Legends original characters, characters that are exclusive to Dragon Ball Legends. Getting more releases would be super duper hype. We got Goku and Bardock. I'm cool with that. But what if we got a, well, what if release? That's like, what if Vegeta was the one that went Super Saiyan God? We could get a game original Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Think about that. That could be so cool. So cool. I would be all in. In fact, actually, actually, now that I think about it, isn't Xenoverse about to do something like that? Isn't that like a Xenoverse DLC? Oh, they could totally do it and tie it in together. Oh, you know Bandai, they love doing that. Also, aren't, aren't both games managed by who, Dimps? Oh, they could totally do that. They won't, though. They won't. Imagine? Oh, imagine. But Game Originals is so crazy because there's so, so, so much potential here. Aside from the obvious, like maybe more Shallot stuff. I, I think he's probably done with Blue, but maybe another Shallot variation they release. Like another Shallot character that's like got an LF or something. I don't know. It would be kind of weird to give him an LF. You'd have to probably lock his form maybe. I'm not sure. And you wouldn't be able to have him teachable, obviously. Unless he draws an ultimate, I guess. Anyway, moving on. So, uh, and then he would be only the second character, I think, in the game that has a transforming ultimate. Somebody pointed that out to me. I totally forgot but that Broly does have it. I think he's the only one. Um, more giblet variations, obviously, <laughs> like Super Saiyan God, I don't know, or, or giblet without the, the cowl, like, I don't know, like, there's so much more they can do with that type of stuff, but then they can do more what-if stuff, like I said, the Vegeta, they can do more what-if stuff that's crazy what-if stuff, like, what if, for whatever reason, Zamasu and Vegito had to team up, what if, somehow, some way there was a portal that opened, because that's the trope they use in the Goku Bardock story, there was a portal that opened, and Vegito and Gogeta had to team up, what if somehow, some way, Gohan had to team up with his GT or future variants of himself? You know, our regular Super Gohan. You know, he had to team up with future Gohan. What if, what, what if so many other possibilities? Like, it just really comes down to how creative they are. And also, well, it also does come down to what they're allowed to do. Because they may have ideas, but maybe they don't want them to do these ideas in terms of the people that manage the game. Uh, and and mm, how do I say this? The devs of the game do manage the game, but they don't get the final say on what they produce, if that makes sense to you. Like, they, they have to go through a bunch of hoops to say, hey, can I do this? Hey, can I do that? And I'd love to hear how that all went for Goku and Bardock. That might have been kind of tricky for them to do. Uh, also, I'm sure it's really, really tricky when Dokkan does it, too, uh, when they produce their characters. Like, like Grandpa Gohan and Pan is so cool to me. As, like, a combination, such a cool character. 
So anyway, game original stuff, I absolutely want to see happen. What do you think they could do for more game original stuff? Like I said, the possibilities are freaking endless, bro. They are so, so, so massive. Now, I am going to pivot here to some a couple of really, really hype characters that I think most people would be looking for uh, and wanting to see release that are kind of just characters that I've been looking forward to and wanting to see myself. First and foremost, the new Super Vegito. Particularly, I'd like to see one that, you know, fuses. <laughs> I've been trumpeting that horn for like years. One day they're gonna get the technology and they're gonna do it finally. One day they're gonna, cause to me it just sounds so simple. To me in my head, but I'm not a game dev. It sounds so simple. You just make a tag character that has a main ability because they always have main abilities that, well not really, but the same functionality of main abilities is tag switching. But you get the point, you click their icon and they just tag switch into another character. All it has to do is make it play an animation. To me, conceptually, it makes no difference. There's always two kits on characters that transform or tag switch. There's always all this. To me, it doesn't make any difference. Like to me in my head, but again, I'm not in their position. So maybe there is some holdup, but I, it's gonna come at some point. It's totally gonna come at some point. So obviously Vegito, Gogeta, Gotenks, I wanna see all that happen. That for me would be so amazing and so, so, so cool in terms of more releases. Speaking of more releases, I want to also throw out the bone that I think we need more Gohans. This is Gohan Ball Legends, and somehow, some way, we don't have enough Gohans. I just, I think we don't have enough Gohans. I just, I just gotta say it. I think we just need more Gohans, man. I think we need more. Specifically, <laughs> specifically, I'd like to see them revisit the Cell Saga. I'd like them to really actually revisit the cell song you know how they gave that like what do they call it it wasn't a campaign what do they call it it was like a mini campaign for cell that was it that was basically a waste of time you know what they had somebody must have had an idea to make a new cell with like final counter and they're like yeah we can do it we'll just sell a gohan we'll drop like what was it one free character or something like that we'll drop oh, i don't remember what they did but it was on the heels like the boo saga campaign right and they actually did boo saga stuff like it was just so like blech I'd like to see them really seriously, truthfully, and honestly revisit it and remake Gohan. Gohan's got the oldest LF animation in the entire game. So obviously it can be done much better. Obviously they will revisit this Gohan at some point. They won't just leave this version of Gohan untouched in a premium manner. I mean, they've only given us like, you know, for this guy, I think it's only been, ah, no, 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 no. That's our only Gohan that's premium with that specific scene. Because we have some other Gohans here at the bottom that are Super Saiyan too, but who cares, right? Maybe there's one I'm forgetting that like transforms or something. I don't think so. But there's this guy, but it's not the same. That's a different Gohan from a different period, different movie. Uh, movie versus anime, right? So I want to see this Gohan specifically revisited. I talked about that Goku earlier, that, and I said I would bring him up later. I think with Cell Saga, you have some fun, fun, fun possibilities here because most of the crap here is so damn old. Like, I'd love to see a new Super Trunks because what the hell is this guy? And please don't try to be too cute with, with his design. Don't do that. What the hell is this guy? Get him out of here. I mean, he had a fun, like, utility when he was released and then when he's Zenkai, but I would love to I would love to see a new Fuse with Kami, Light Grenade, Hell Zone Grenade, Piccolo. Oh, my God, bro. That could, the neck crack. I forgot he does that. Oh, that could be so, so, so cool. We don't need another Cell. They gave us a couple Cells, admittedly. Uh, apparently, Cell has really good representation. Also, shout out to this Green Gohan, one of my favorite characters in the game, Super Duty character. Actually, yeah, Cell has some good representation all of a sudden. This perfect form Cell, the old one, LF, is like, okay. He's just okay. You know, not good, not bad, just okay. Uh, but there's, there's, there's a newer LF Cell that's super good. The second form cell transforming character is super good as well, in my opinion. Just don't ever see him because he's been gate kept. The Zell the yellow cell Zenkai is still really good too. Like, Cell's alright, in my opinion. They could totally do a new trunks, because this guy, his animations are cool, I guess, but they could totally expand on that more, make it look so much better, right? Hercule could get a new character, funny enough, like, yeah. And also they could do so many other things in here. Like, like I said, new Oh, we were trumpeting hard for a new final flash Vegeta earlier this year. They didn't do it though. That could also be so, so cool. That's another scene that's underrepresented, right? One of the more hype scenes that just doesn't really have enough love. Cell Saga has a lot of potential. They could, like I said earlier, redo the instant transmission Goku, make him look so much better. Make him look so much better. Make him look more akin to the Dokkan variation. Um, because I, I think they dated a, a Goku on that game what, what, a couple years ago. Uh, mm, 
Maybe I'm thinking of the Goku Gohan. Oh, they could totally do a Goku Gohan Cell Saga What If, just like the Dokkan one. Oh, that card is so cool, by the way, where they're both like in it and doing the... Oh, that card is so cool. Um, not very good, but so cool. Uh, yeah, so Cell Saga, though, there's so much stuff here that they haven't done that we could see. <sighs> Let me go ahead and shuffle back, because there's a couple other things that I wanted to kind of mention. Dragon Ball Saga... I'm not even going to bother bringing it up. Y'all know I want it. I'm not going to bother bringing it up because I just don't think it'll happen, unfortunately. They leave that team to dry. I mean, there are teams like girls and stuff that they leave to dry, but Dragon Ball Saga, they absolutely don't care about. Speaking of girls, I'd love to see, actually, finally, a couple new Fusion Warriors getting uh, more, re more recent releases. Kefla has not had a summonable character since the third anniversary. Third anniversary. Also, there's no base Kefla. Does Super Saiyan 1 Kefla do stuff? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Super Saiyan 1 Kefla does stuff. So, base Super Saiyan 1, base to Super Saiyan 1 Transformer, Transformer 1 to 2. Like, they they could do stuff like that, right? Those are, those are things that are on the table. Gotenks just technically got a new character, but we still haven't had a kid Gotenks in a super long time. I think the red one may be the last kid Gotenks that we got. Yeah, look at this. There's only like six Gotenks in the entire game. See, this is where, this is where, like, when you look at characters like this, and Kefla, and stuff like that, and also, like, some of the GT characters, this is where, like, I'm not sure if there's a huge disconnect. Some of these characters are flat out not as popular, right? But, like, I'm not sure if there's a huge disconnect with what we want and what the devs want slash think we want, right? Because I'm sure more people want more Super Saiyan 4s and all that stuff. But there's only like, there's like maybe like five Super Saiyan 4s in the whole game. Maybe six, right? Like just in general as a form. So like, you know? And then you look at Gotenks. Like I said, debatable as to how popular he is. But I think he could totally be a character that fills in some of these teams. Regardless of how popular he is. And makes these teams better. Like that new Gotenks I think is a perfect slot into the teams that's available to him. So, like, Kefla too, right? Regardless of how popular these characters are, I think that's debatable. But, regardless, they could slide into these teams and just make them better. Because at the end of the day, we're building six-man teams, right? So there's there's room for us not to have the exact same character filling up every single slot. You know what I'm saying? There could be more characters produced that are doing more things, or or, or are at least, at least a different face. My goodness. So that's where I'm going to conclude out of most of the characters that I would like to see for today. There was one more thing I wanted to bring up, but I totally lost it. Oh, oh, this is not it, but I'm seeing it now. Dude, dude, give me the other pride troopers. What's her name? What's, what's, what's the, what's the chick's name? Cocote? There's still like, there's still a few more of them, huh? Dude, give me the rest of them. <laughs> give, give me the rest. Of, I mean, they're not like, isn't there like a small bug guy too? They're not like obviously very popular. These are so I've I've, I've delved into a lot of niche stuff. Uh, oh, I forgot about this. I'm just not thinking about this one. I said Gohan. I've been also asking for this for a super long time. But where in the flying hell is the Super Saiyan Great Saiyan Man? Where is that at? Where is that at, bro? How have they not done that yet? Seriously. Like, how have they not done that? We'll have two great Saiyan Mans in the entire game. One of them is an attack. But how have they not done Super... You could even do Dragon Ball Super's Super Saiyan Great Saiyan Man, where he's got the helmet still on. He's got the gold aura from, like, those episodes. I'll even take that. But seriously, where are the Boo Saga Great Saiyan Man Gohans? Where he's, you know, in the ring pissed off with Kabito and all that stuff. That's technically, I mean, it's Gohan in the in the Great Saiyan Man outfit, but it's always Gohan in the Great Saiyan Man outfit. Whether, whether he has the outfit on or not with the helmet, the glasses, the, the bandana, nothing. It doesn't matter. It's always Gohan in the outfit because it's Gohan, but you get the point. There's that. Where's the Gohan in the black, uh, was it Leotard, Unitard, whatever it is, in the black outfit where he takes the green part off, the cape off. You know, he's firing the Kamehameha at Boo. Where's that Gohan? Where's the Gohan with the glasses? But he's going crazy Super Saiyan. Where are these characters? <laughs> Damn, this game's five and a half years old. And you know what? It's some of it's some of it's bias, obviously. But to me, if I was producing this game, I just think I, by now, five and a half years in, I'd have all of those types of pocket moments already represented. 
right? I'd have all of them represented. I'd also have, speaking of Boo Saga, have already made, you know, the Majin Vegeta that blows up the audience. I would have found a way to make him, his animation pop off in the game. Like, I would have made all those pocket moments that are so memorable from each, you know, portion of the story. I would have done all that. There's like, is there even a... Oh, no, there is. It's technically on the green card. But I also would like, just on a, on a side note, like Kaioken Goku, where he obliterates Nappa and does the one hand stand thing. That guy, I think the blue one does that on his green card. But like, I would just make all that stuff more premium. But you know what it is, is like I said, you can really see it when you look at the, the older characters. Speaking of Kaioken Goku, you can really see it when you look at the older characters and see just how far they've come with everything in this game. I mean, I guess art's a little bit de debatable, but I think the art's better. I think... Obviously, this isn't a debate. The animations are better for most of the characters. Some of the older characters still look really good. But for the most part, whether it's an LF or not, the animations are better on these greens and blue cards and stuff like that. Like everything that they're doing just looks better. Um, they've just come a long way. And that's why, like I said when I started the video, there's so much that they did already that, to be honest, could get redone. And we probably will never see some of this stuff get redone in a meaningful way. I know for a fact we won't because Dragon Ball is too big of a series, but there's still a lot of potential here and there's still so much I would like to see, right? So I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. There was, dude, there was something else I wanted. God, I lost it. I'm so annoyed that I lost it. There's something else I really, really wanted. I started noticing things as scrolling through this list. There's something else I really wanted. Maybe you guys know me so well and you know what it was. Post down below. And I'll like it slash leave a heart if you get it right. <laughs> all right, guys. Like I said, post down below what you guys think. Above all else, I think 2024 will be amazing on Dragon Ball Legends. And I'll see you all throughout the year, obviously.